Yo guys, Features Gaming here with another video on the trucking career and today it is episode, what episode is it today? I think it's 85, let me just check that, I'm not too sure, I believe it's 85, um, let me just check though, yeah 85 it is episode 85, man I'm getting mixed up because we've done so many episodes on this series and it is just insane on how many we have done. So today we're going to be taking some Basel from Berlin to Padborg. So it's not a long job but as I say like I do want to find if we can get some more discoverables and try and like reroute our way so then we don't so then we can like discover more road that we that we haven't discovered yet if that makes sense. And before I get started in this journey, I just want to give a shout out to my friend's YouTube channel called Paige and Kaya because, th th I mean, they've just created a channel and it's a really good channel. I edited, uh, well, I'm editing their videos until one until my friend gets a, a laptop so she can edit them herself. So I edited her first video, which is out now. It came out yesterday on her channel so go over to that channel and subscribe to it i'll leave a link in the description and also i want to give a shout out to my other friend's youtube channel called um i don't know what it's called i think it's ryan tilbury um because he wants because he he was he's wanting to start a career in singing so he wants as much people as he can to like give feedback on his singing so then he can like you know get better so subscribe to his channel as well i'll leave links in the description below but with that being said let's go and pick up our trailer and get started with this journey so i have turned the um the scaling onto uh onto 400 percent because even though it's not full 60 fps it's still running on like a solid 40 fps which is good so or 30 whatever works so Again, track IR as well. Oh, I didn't know that we, that was there. Oh, we could have took a double trailer. Oh, that would have made a really good video. Oh, I didn't think about that. But anyway, I'm going to be taking it. I'm going to be taking this um, job in this um, in the Pro Mods trailer because it looks cool. So let me just couple up with the trailer and then we can reroute our way to pick up some discoverables and maybe discover some more that we haven't done already right so there we go let me just reposition myself there we go and then put the parking brake on and now let's open the world map so we have only discovered 13.34 percent of the map and we're on the and we're on the 84th episode which is a bit weird right so we're going to reroute ourselves around that way because we haven't discovered that and then that's it so should we drop in here because i'm no because that that might have rerouted the rerouted us this way so then we would have had to have gone on that road but there's no discoverables in there anyway so hamburg we've got hamburg and we've already discovered that road too so we can take it up there as well yeah and then kill there's no discoverables in kill Oh, and then we have to go on this road again. That doesn't matter. But should we drop in for... Okay, we've already got that. And then Padborg. We've already discovered it in like a really long time ago. So, yeah. So, we're taking it that way. Okay, yeah, that works. So, we're going to be discovering a bit more of the road. Not much, but yeah. So, reset my track out. We can have... We have beacons on the trailer, so we'll turn beacons on as well. Even though it is only Basil in the, in the back. But other drivers do not know what we're taking. So, one thing I did find when I was picking up this journey. Look at this. This road in front of me is only going to the left. But there's a wall in front, so I can't go and turn to the right. So, I'm going to have to turn left. Crash into that Range Rover. And either turn around... Or be sensible. Who said be sensible? I'm just going to do a turn around. There we go. So. <laughs> and that. And that car's still there. So. 
Now let's continue on our journey. And again, we've got traffic. We are actually running on a 20 FPS now. But that's only because we're in a busy area. So you can see the dashboard is really clear as well. So like I can see my miles an hour, my um, my rev counter. I can see everything. The only thing I can't really see clearly is how many liters of, is how many liters of fuel we've got, or the FM radio that we're on, because that the radio doesn't really mind. Because even if you go to a radio in the radio thing uh, in the radio menu it actually still doesn't show up with the radio that you're listening to so say for example you're listening to truckers fm that like there's no the radio that you're listening that you're listening to doesn't change like on there so i wish that could be implemented into the game but Anyway, right, I am going down here. No, I'm not. I'm staying on here. Yeah, because then I'm taking this road right. Got it. Could this truck actually go quicker? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Oh, come on. Come on, let's go. There we go. I think we just crashed into some more cars. Can you not see that my that I have to actually turn right? For my trailer to go around here. It's called patience. They don't know what they're doing. Right, so when are we turning off here? Um how does that lane work out? Right, so we're carrying on, right. So, we don't need to be in that lane. We need to be in the lane that we're currently in. I'll tell you what, though. My track AR doesn't feel that instant anymore, though. Should I change it back? Yeah, I think I'm going to change it back. I was going to keep it on, on there, but... Mm, it's not the best. I'm going to change it back to 100. Just like that. There's my homepage. Or my screensaver. There we go. Stop flickering. It does that sometimes. I don't know why it flickers, but yeah. And my friend's playing drinks, train simulator, which I do have. Oh, look, Padborg. That's where we're going. <laughs> there we go. Instant track IR. 60 F, well, 50 FPS. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Oh, Roadworks coming up here. That's new. Uh. Okay, that's a weird layout of roadworks I haven't seen in a long time. Just like that. So we've um, gone past our waypoint that we set so then we can um, come this way. So we discover this road. And again, someone's commented on my YouTube video. <laughs> I, I, I almost, well, I know which video they've commented on. I know it because I was replying to them this uh, uh, this morning as of recording this video because they're having a problem uh, with downloading Truckers MP and they did it on my older video, not on my updated version. So I had to like say, watch the vi like watch the video in the pinned comment. But and then they like said something else, which I didn't fully understand the first time I read it. So like I had to read it again to try and get an idea on what they were saying, and I eventually got it. And I was like saying, okay, have you done this? Have you done this? And like tell me the result. And he, he like he didn't follow on. Like, and then he said, like, um, can we chat over Messenger or Instagram? And, and I was, like, saying I'd prefer not to <laughs> because I don't really like talking to strangers. 
Um, the only reason, um, another reason why I said no as well is because if other people are having the same problem, like the same problem as he was having, then he could like read through, like they could like read through the conversation that we were having. So then he already kind of has the solution there rather than having to comment it and then wait for me to reply and everything. Because I, I do try and reply to all of your comments, guys. I'm not that person that just sees the comments and leaves it there. I actually like it and then I love the comment thing because apparently that's what creators can do. Like there's like a heart thing there. So I heart your comments basically, if that makes sense and reply I mean like if it isn't if it's a comment that doesn't like require an answer then I leave it but like if it's saying something like cool video then I just like reply with saying like thanks and everything like that and then if they're having a problem then I comment like with a solution or uh, or like um, what's it called what's it called when you like give someone uh, I'm struggling to find the word. What's the word? It's, it's when you like give someone something that they can do to try and make it better. Oh, what's it called? Advice. There we go. That's the word. Try and give them advice. Uh, yeah, I'm taking this road. Uh, try and give them advice on what to do. Two wheeling. Oh, that was sweet. That was. Two wheeling again. <laughs> oh, I love two wheeling. Right, let's see if we can get it better here. Alright, kind of. Okay. But I must say, the two wheeling that we did, like, down there, that was sweet. I have a feeling my track IR is going to fall off in a moment. <laughs> I've got it sorted out so, like, my track IR doesn't, like... So, like, the wire doesn't, like, go weird. So, and I've just got a conversation, I've actually just had a, um, a text from my stepdad, which I need to do. So, um, guys, uh, let me just go and uh, do something quickly, and then I'll be right back with you guys. And here we are. We're back. Oh, man. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Come on, get off the barrier. Eep. Whew. That was my fault. I was just putting my iPad back where it was supposed to be with my timer running. But yeah. Whew. All I had to do was just like do something like in the house quickly. So. Because like you may be wondering like. Like, couldn't he come and tell me what it was? It was something that I just had to, like, do in my room quickly. Um, like, couldn't he, like, come up the stairs and tell me what it was? The thing is, with how quickly technology has come in this life, basically, you don't even have to move out of your seat to tell something. Like, my parents could be, like, over in London. And still tell me to do something. They could be over in another country, like Germany, and tell me to do something. They could be in Australia and tell me to do something. That's how quickly or bad technology has come. Before you know it, you won't even have to move out of your seat ever in life. Everything will just be robotic. Like your shopping. Trucks like this will be self-driving. No joke. Just like... <laughs> everything is turning weird.
But yeah. Right, how long have we got? Four hours. And we've been recording for 15 minutes. Well, I have. I don't know what it's going to be like after I've cut the, um, the paws out. And... Um, and the intro's been added too, so. I start my stopwatch, like, the minute I start talking for the gameplay. So, yeah. So, I kind of get, like, a rough idea on how long the video is. Yeah, why have I? Why did I set a waypoint there? I don't actually know why I set a waypoint there. Oh, I remember now. It was wanting us to. Um, yeah, it was wanting us to uh, carry on somewhere to take a road that we've already discovered. So then we set a waypoint, so then we could discover more road. But yeah, like with pro mods active and all my DLCs that I've got. And some new uh, DLCs upcoming. I think there's like Beyond the Atlantic Sea or something. Um, I think Russia, well, part of Russia is going to be a DLC. Um, Ireland's going to be a, D a DLC. Um, what else? I think more of Spain is going to be expanded on as a DLC. Basically, Pro Mods is going to be in different kinds of DLCs for for Euro Truck which is going to be insane because I was actually researching this while I was at college because I was doing something um, for Euro Truck well not like inside the game but like we were doing like an animation thing and we had to like describe what animation is in Euro Truck and why it's in here and why it's like in the game it's like not for like, oh, well, it's fun. It makes it more fun. This game could be a 2D game easily and non-animated. But by having it animated, it makes it more fun. It makes it more realistic. And it could relate more to the target audience that this game is for. Yeah, there's a number of different ways that animation could have been used for this game. Because as I said, this game could have easily have been a 2D game. But if it was, then this game would be crap, basically. <laughs> right. Let's go over here. Because why not? Off-roading. Off-road truckers. That, that, that should be a DLC or a new game altogether. Have, like, roads that are off-road. And you have to go on them to, like, discover, like... and No, and you have to, like, go on them when you're, like, uh, delivering, let's say, like, a digger or something like that. But, like, you have to have, like, a very special truck and special trailer for it. So, yeah. And I have a bad feeling that it's going to start raining in the game, so... Oh, red light. I'm in trouble. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just go this way. Like a boss. Even though they were going anyway, but... <laughs> like, as I say, if I see a place where I can overtake them at a traffic light or something, I'm going there. <laughs> Right. I can't actually remember how much this job was earning, actually. It should tell us when we go. Uh, seven grand. So not much, but it's all right. What time is it in game? 10 a.m. Ooh. It's getting, very t it's getting very dark for the time of day it is. I think it's just getting, like, a bit foggy in the game. That's probably what it is. Boss, move out of my way. That was not the best thing to do. Really not the best thing to go 
My hair was getting in my face. That's why I did the flick thing. And made me have to reset my tracker, yeah. But hopefully... We cause no harm to the driver of that bus or any of the passengers. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just getting like a bit foggy in the game, so... At least we can see clearly out of the windshield anyway. Like in my summer car. In my summer car, like, the window of the van is like really dirty. Even in the truck as well. So you have to like punch the glass, move it out the way, and then you can start playing it. Or driving, and then you'll be able to see better. Umpsy's alright. I don't know about busing yet, because I haven't got it. I'm, I am planning on getting it for Christmas too, so... Yeah. So at the moment, I don't actually have enough money to buy it. Because, like, I was thinking about getting this... I was thinking about, like, getting a, um, an actual gaming PC. Which was something like £700. No way it wasn't. It was something like £900, actually. So, like, I was planning on getting that. And by the money I actually had, I could afford to buy Busim as well. But, like, the thing is, obviously, I don't have enough space in my room for that gaming PC. Because, obviously, now I've got a gaming laptop, which is very small and can fit on my desk. And it's the monitor on it is even better than the monitor that I had on my desk, which was basically just like a giant monitor. This is basically just the laptop screen that can run at like 120 hertz and everything. 1920 by 1080 resolution. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah. But like this, I mean, as I said, this laptop cost me like 997, eight, 998 pounds. Um, which is, <laughs> it's brilliant for the laptop that I was expecting. <laughs> so, yeah. But now I don't have enough money to buy bus sim. So, I thought, well, Christmas is coming up. May as well put it on my Christmas list. So, I did. Because I'm still a kid. And I like getting presents. Right. The hard thing is, when driving in, um, in foreign countries, is that you, my cab is... Like, this is a, a right-hand drive. So, I have to basically, like, to see for an opportunity to overtake, I have to move my cab out a bit to see. Because, like, when you're in the UK, in this sort of truck, you can literally just go like that and look over. But for this, I either have to be very far away or move my truck over to look and risk damaging my truck. And obviously, in real life, that would have been your faults. So then you would have had to have paid for it. And... Let's just, let's just get around there. And, um... If... What was I talking about? And, um... And even though that I have a no damage mod on, it will just slow me down. So, yeah. And we are at the destination. That car's going to let me go. Thanks, mate. Right. Yeah, there we go. Where do you want this parking? I want it parking there. Okay, proceed to your unloading area. Head towards the red flag on your map. I don't use the red map. I just look for the blinking box. Of doom. Right, let's park it. I don't know why. <laughs> Reverse, there we go. Look at the reflections on, on them buckle belts. Oh no, this trailer has a, has a turnable axle. Um, okay, that's 
a bit annoying. Right, um, how am I going to do this? Let me see if I can turn around. And then I'll have to use like that mirror to guide it in. Because I don't think I actually have enough space there. So. Let's get around there. Narrowly. Right. And then. So our ours is there. So if we just pop over here. And stop about there. We try and guide that in now. I have no idea when to start turning. It's not really that clear, is it? Oh, I'm turning it wrong. There we go. Right. I think I've I think I've left that too late. If we just keep it full lock. Um where's my trailer? Okay. Now, if we start going full lock. Oh, we've got our trailer on something. Right, let, let's restart that. Let's restart that. Right, let's go like here so then we have a bit of clearance. Right, so now, if we look for the beacon place. So now our beacon is on that trailer. So if we now start turning. Like that. We go full lock right. And then start gently going full lock left. Right, let's go full lock left now. Oh, can we clear that? There we go. Right, so... Oh, come on, I am not on that. Oh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm on that, um, I'm on that, um, trailer. But now, if we go like this, we can now put that in now. There we go. Put it in like that. Remember to turn early because this trailer has turnable axles. Actually turn later is the question. Or is what you should be doing. Right. Go like that. Now turn. There we go. There we go. That's going in. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Right. Leave it there. Can't be bothered anymore. If we had a double trailer... I would have been choosing the easy parking. Not the skip, but like the one where you have to just drive into it. Right, so level 23, master. <laughs> and we just upped some the XP. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. So if you did like this video, then leave a like and that will be awesome. Thank you very much. I'm talking too fast because I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see more videos on the trucking career, then do that as well. And also to all my subscribers out there, turn on my notifications on so then you guys will get notified every time. I put out a new video so then you guys can go and view the video first. You can like the video first. You can comment first on the videos. You can share the videos first. Whatever you guys want to do on the videos, you can do first. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and peace.